Morning everyone. Right, I was playing about last night while we were on Skype um, with this mould putty. So I did have a go girls. <laughs> and uh, this is a mould that I wanted to, uh, well this is the item that I wanted to do a mould of. Because I love this rose and it's got the leaves on and the part of the branch. And um, I didn't mix enough but I've mixed enough to get that shape, you know, get to get the mould that I want. So the black um, FIMO or anything like that can I can use for that and just do that section. And that's still fine. It just fit right in there. I'm thrilled to death with it. Love that stuff. So I will be doing more. More moulds coming up. I did manage, uh, ladies, to get my uh, room sorted. Everything put away. That's what I said to you. My cupboards, my drawers when I came home and got them organised weren't full. They, they only look full. They weren't. They're a bit fuller now, like, <laughs> but I did manage to get them, uh, most of it put away that was for personal use, and the rest of it I, I boxed back up, which is for kits and whatever, and to sell. And I can't wait, because today I've got another couple of boxes, uh, well, three boxes coming today. Hopefully they get here today, but this week sometime. What I wanted to do was to show you uh, how to make the coat hangers. And this is why I bought this coloured wire. It is thinner than the one we can get, uh, but thicker than the normal one that we use. Uh, so, I would have been ideal to get my pliers out, wouldn't it? So I'm going to show you now how to do the coat hanger. You take a piece of wire, oh, approximately 10 inches long, depending on the size of the, what you want, and just offset it from the centre. If you, if you want your coat hanger about that wide, um, what you need to do is grip it with the small nose pliers and bend it like that. Figure out where you want the bend to be, the, the width of the coat hanger, and bend the opposite side like that. You need to make sure that they see that's the shape of the coat hanger that I'm after. And then what I'm going to do is just twist it twice like that yeah you will waste a little bit but keep hold of your segments because you don't know what you're going to use it for and clip that I need the other pliers now don't I silly old right let's see if we can use these and all I'm going to do is just to squash that down like that um, then see where you want the hook to be so I'm going to go round about there and bend it over the biggest part like that and then what I'm going to do is snip that off where I want it to be and then just take your pliers your flat nose pliers I might want that a little bit smaller actually yep that'll do and there you are very very simple coat hanger why buy them when you can make them and look how many you get out of that. I'm going to do it again. Try not to waste as much wire actually. So I I'd probably say cut about, oh, I don't know. Well, it's about 10 inches. Is it? Something like that. Right, let's do that again. Okay. Push it down with your thumb. It's, it just gives you the right curve. Okay, and I'm going to probably do that one there. Pull them up where you want them. I'm going to have mine about that. that look about even. Give it a couple of twists. Like that. Chop that bit off. I'm going to need that. Bend it up. Take the round nose pliers on the largest section and bend it and then just snip off where you want it there not much waste there might need that a little bit shorter actually much better there you go and use some coat hangers quick as that well, I found what I was looking for right um, let me go back to doing this and then I'll go back on to that one I've got two rings. I can't find my little tub of jump rings. That's another thing that's missing, but it's probably in another box somewhere. But I haven't seen them at all. God knows where I hope he's put them. 
Right, because I'm still finding things. Oh, oh, they're not home. Look, see, you can also do these. I make these. I'll show you how to make that one in a minute. What's wrong box anyway? Let me find my box with my coat hangers in. There's my box with my coat hangers in. Where are they, hubby? Where are they? See, with him, I find nothing. He, he's just bunged everything. And then we, he's done really, really well and put everything away. Well, I mean, put everything in place. But I can't find anything. So, I do have... Eee! Eee, lad, where is it all? Now, let me have a look. See, I have all these hundreds and hundreds of these damn boxes. I can't find anything. <laughs> and he's probably put them in the most awkward of places so that I can't find them. Eee, lad, where have you put them? It's all right, there's over 300 boxes here and I'm having to look through them all to find what I'm looking for. You know, I keep things certain places. Can I ever find them? No, because wherever my jump rings are, they are, because I had them out separate that were put together uh, and not with everything else. So, obviously, I need to find those now. I must find, ask him where he's put them all. Anyway, never mind. What I've done is I made a batch of these and I made them in this wire, which is thinner. Okay, <coughs> so, um, because I need to find the tub that's got the uh, coat hangers in, because I have a box full of them that I've made up. But like I say, I've always, I've also made these. So I'm going to show you how to do these. And these I use for the antennae for the butterflies. I mean, you can make them any size you want, depending on what size your butterfly is. You cut a piece off. You take the round nose pliers in the middle, roughly. Right, and you bend them. Not a bad guess, look. I do, I am particular about having them the same length, so I'm going to cut that bit. Like that there. So I've bent them like that. Take your pliers on the end, because so, you have to start small. Use your thumb to go round, turn it completely round once. Again, on the end, make sure you get them the right size like that and there you go you've made some uh, antennae and what I normally do is grip the bottom <laughs> I take hold of the pliers <laughs> I pop it on the end <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I can't help it. There's always a bottom involved. <laughs> I take the pliers, put them there, <laughs> and I just pinch that slightly together. And then it's so that when you're um, gluing them, you've just got a little bit more of a base to glue and grip. And that's what I do. And you end up, I mean, look. They're so blooming easy to make, and I always make a batch up ready. Like that. And, uh Oh, found a coat hanger. That shouldn't be in there. See? Like that. And I do different sizes so that I've got a good mixture for what I need. And they're really handy, and I just... It's time-saving as well. The other one I do is this one. Um, which is, you know, if you've got... A, you, that's the shape of the butterfly... Um, and I make some of these up because you can swirl these and do whatever you want with them so that I'll have one there and then one on the opposite side of the butterfly um, to do that another thing I wanted to show you with because I'm not bothered about this I should have bought more of this look, see I've nearly used this one fortunately I've got some in um, just cut that off I'm just trying to show you and help you with what you can do now, if you take that to the end and wrap that right round like that just like that right and then lay it flat try not to put too much pressure on because this metal you can bend into it and start it off like that right just like that and if I can do it yeah because normally what you, I do normally is I'll sit this on the radiator if the radiators are on to warm the metal up because it bends easier 
see another tip see put it in a, some hot water to bend it because I'm putting pressure on it it's actually making a mark on there so I even it out so it just looks like it's a, a patterned right so you've done that and continue to go around keeping it you know completely flat once you've got a good grip you can do that with it like that and then turn it round so it's the opposite way take hold of the end and start that again That's somebody messaging me right oops keep going round and round like that a little bit more and you've got a little bit of decoration to go on a project you never know where you might want to put that like that so there's lots and lots of different things you can do with the wires okay so just that I'll show you you know play around have some fun you never know what you might come up with another one I've come up with is this one now, I once bought these, and I don't. <laughs> I try not to use them because they're um, they're expensive. But because I kept one back, I can now copy that. And I've got this, and they've got little hooks on, so it's a coat hanger with hooks. Now, with this wire, and I've got these. Do you remember what I took off the flowers yesterday? Right. So what I've done, and they're very easy to do. You take the bottom section, not the one with the teeth. Oh, God, that reminds me of my nose when I was away. <laughs> take the bottom section, so I'm going to show you, and the smallest hole in the crocodile. As I was saying, the smallest hole in the crocodile, all you do is um, put a hole in it, add your jump ring, make a coat hanger that's big, and then add that to it. And then you can add a little nameplate on here as well. And you've made your own. Don't buy them. They do cost a fortune, I'll tell you that now. And uh, just make your own. Save your clips. Oh, that's it for now. I'm going to come back with something else. Think so? Yeah, of course I will. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.